Well, switching to softball now, Crestview High School is more than used to the playoff scene. Of course, the boys' basketball team winning the D4 state title last month. Football team, nice run of their own in the playoffs, and baseball making the Final Four one year ago. All that has happened since the Crestview softball team won state gold way back in 2012. And we see the Lady Knights looking to get back to their state championships after losing to Lincoln View in the sectional final last season. Coming in from last, like, from last season, you know, we didn't do as well as we did, so I'm ready to go. Seeing our guys win state was definitely a motivator to try and get us back there, so, yep. Hicks hit two home runs last night at Elida and will play softball for the University of Northwestern Ohio. She knows her high school team will also rely on racing. Definitely quickness. I mean, we've got a lot of girls that have speed, and so we're going to use it. We're going to run bases this year. That's what coaches stressing on this year for our team. We've got a lot of speed this year, a lot different than last year. We have some newcomers, so that will bring more speed. So we'll see how that goes this year. Well, we got a lot of speed. I'm not sure how much small ball we might play, but uh, we'd like to uh, be able to use that speed to our advantage and maybe use that to put a little pressure on the defense too. Tara Kroll was in the circle and Crestview won its state title two years ago, and she figures to be part of a strong rotation. When she had nine seniors with her and she uh, uh, won the state tournament, uh, last year uh, for her was maybe that sophomore season. Uh, she's had a real good uh, workout this winter. Uh, she's looked really good in our practices. Of course, we've only been out on the field about four times now, but I think she's throwing the ball fairly well, and I, I expect and hope a, a real consistent season out of her and uh, Kirsten on the, uh, Hicks on the mound also. We'll probably mix it up, and then Courtney Grody, who is a senior, uh, she can throw also, so we might have a little bit of a relief opportunity there and, and try to get all three of them in the mix, really. And the Lady Knights know the league title is very much up for grabs this season. I think the North South Conference this year is going to be as competitive as it's been in the past. I think you're going to have teams like Spencerville, uh, Lincoln View, Bluffton, uh, Paulding. I could go Grove. I mean, any night you're going to have to come and play your game because on any given night somebody can knock you off.